Long queues at Ukrainian borders form once again and Alexander shares his experiences escaping the war with his family. This is Alien News. As winter approaches in Ukraine, a series of new attacks on major cities that has caused widespread electricity and internet outages has sent the country into a new crisis, leading to a dramatic rise in refugees. In light of this, our teams are preparing to help Moralim, and later on we will see some pictures of the situation at the border and hear about a group Alia flight from Warsaw. But first, let's hear from Alexander from Kherson in Ukraine and how their need for urgent medical treatment for their daughter led them to leave Ukraine and search for a new home in Israel. Uh, so, uh, where do you come from? I am from Kherson city in the Ukraine. Uh, are you happy to share with us some of the experiences you had during the war? In the beginning, we were all hiding in the basement. We were all scared because we could hear the explosions. The place where we lived was about five kilometers from Chernobyvka. We could hear everything that was happening in the city. We got used to that. We would hide in the apartment or in the corridor or in the bathroom. Then we tried to leave through Berislav, but it didn't work for us. We found volunteers, Andrei and Lina, who took us through Vasilyevka and Zaporizhia. We stayed a night there and on the 1st of July, we were out of Zaporizhia. On the 2nd of July, we were in Krivoy Rog. In Krivoy Rog, we contacted the Jewish agency. On the 29th of July, we left to Elviv and were picked up from there and brought to the Ebenezer base in the west. We rested there a little and our child got treated because it wasn't easy travel for her. So we had about a week and a half to rest, about 10 days. And then Ebenezer workers got us through the border to Poland. At first, one of the borders we couldn't cross. They didn't like the documents. We went to the second border and there, praise God, they let us out. At the moment, we were in Warsaw. We had an embassy check being approved and were given a visa. When did you decide to make Aliyah and why? We decided to go because our child has special needs and there wasn't any of the needed medication in Kherson. How can she be treated if all the doctors have left? So we decided to take the risk and try to get out to Israel. There was no medicine and no way to help her, but she has to go through rehabilitation every three months to receive the meds and medical treatment and we could not receive this any longer in our country, so we decided to leave. When we were leaving from Kherson, it was already under occupation. The army was everywhere. They were on tanks and crafts, all throughout the city, acting like they owned the place. We didn't like it. This restricted all our rights. All the time you had to have a passport with you. They would check it on buses and other public transportation. We were constantly being stopped and checked at any time. That was one of the reasons why we decided to go. So, uh, you want to go to Israel? Um, do you already have plans what you're going to do when you're there and do you know where you're going to live? Well, we want to go to Israel. Where exactly, we haven't chosen yet. We considered Ranana or Haifa because there are medical centers that could fit our child. We would like to consult and clarify further so that we know where would be the best place for our child. We'll choose a city that is best for our child, not us, where she can have the best opportunities for her condition. What are your hopes for your lives in Israel? My hope is that our child would find her feet in Israel and she would become wholesome. Because in Ukraine we haven't had what would be possible in Israel to get a chance of becoming a wholesome member of the state. Her diagnosis is really serious. She has hydrocephalus and has had a shunt from an early age. She can't speak, she walks by holding a hand and moves around in a wheelchair. I still hope that in Israel they will be able to help her. Okay, thank you very much. Alexander and his family made Alia to Israel on the 7th of September. They reported that their flight went well and they are very thankful to be in Israel.
Long queues form at borders between Ukraine and Poland. As the situation in Ukraine further escalates and millions are left without electricity and internet after severe attacks on critical infrastructure, the number of people trying to escape to neighboring countries increases overnight. On November 9th, 85 Ukrainian Yulim, six cats and three dogs made Alia to Israel. The Ebenezer team in Poland helped families get onto the buses and accompanied them to the airport. We wish them all the best as they establish their new lives in Israel. Alexander and his family were helped to leave Ukraine and escape from a situation that was becoming life-threatening for their daughter. The Lord already promised in his word that he would deliver his people from the hand of the enemy and gather them back to the land of Israel, as we can read in Psalm 107. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy and gathered out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Please pray for our teams in Ukraine and Poland as they prepare to help an increasing number of refugees during the winter months that are approaching. Visit our website if you would like to know more about Ebenezer's vision and Alia. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the Ebenezer Operation Exodus YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest Alia reports.